You know, when I saw the, the tweet from Colin yesterday, uh, I immediately thought about the fact that this Just Do It campaign is 30 years old. And that equity that they've built up over time and their timing is just impeccable. You know, they've, they've always been about storytelling. And, and obviously, um, I don't want to say that the dissent is not real. I mean, people are very passionate, but I don't think it's going to be overwhelming for the Nike brand. So you think that the controversy that they're um, courting here, because that's the only way to put it, uh, is, is not only survivable, but... That, that it will be short-lived. Uh, because, you know, Colin Kaepernick, whether you agree with his right to protest or how he did it or other things he's done or said, he is radioactive in lots of ways. Well, Nike being a global brand, um, and Colin's ultimately going to be one of the most recognized, you know, modern-day era civil rights activists, and the whole notion that they look at this from a business perspective, meaning that their brand has always been rooted as it relates to authenticity and being part of culture. Uh, it's not just about selling shoes for them or selling apparel. Um, the positioning of their brand is very, very strong. I think it's going to be short-lived as it relates to the, 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 the huge outpouring of people that are against the against Nike mm -hmm. at, the, at the moment. But if you look at their audience and the people that revere Nike as a brand around the world, it makes a very strong statement. I have to guess that Phil Knight was consulted on this. Is that your supposition? Well, Wyden and Kennedy, um, obviously the agency up in, in Portland, they've been working with Nike for a, a very long time. Uh, Mr. Knight brought them in, works very, very closely with them. I think it's something that they've been planning for some time. And, and as you know, one of the most brilliant things about marketing in Nike is, is timing. And for them to recognize that they've got that swoosh on all these NFL players' jerseys with opening night coming up on Thursday to, to insert them, not just into the middle of the conversation, but to lead the conversation around Colin Kaepernick and his activism. Uh, it's something that they definitely planned, and Mr. Knight was well, definitely consulted on that. Does your calculus indicate that this will pay off for Nike? Not just will it backfire, and your answer is no, but will it actually pay off? I mean, what was this whole gamble for? Because if the whole gamble, if we, don't, if we only know that it hasn't backfired, we are not sure whether or not it's going to pay off, that doesn't seem like a good risk to take on behalf of shareholders. You know, I think I think ultimately it's going to pay off. Uh, I just don't believe that uh, a campaign uh, that would would, would literally uh, Colin being a a part of a campaign is going to have an overall negative impact on the brand. Um, I've seen a bunch of the tweets coming from outside of the U.S. and the tone around the world is quite different than the tone of what you see generally. Again, I'm not minimizing it by saying they're not passionate about what they believe in. I just don't think it's going to have a negative impact, and, and I think it's going to galvanize but, a lot of individuals that are passionate supporters of the Nike brand because they deserve to be in the conversation. But, but to Melissa's point, this company is publicly held. It has a fiduciary responsibility to return value to the shareholders. So how does this ad campaign, considering the risk, become a vehicle for returning value? Well, brand equity is value uh, and continuing to cement who you are and what you stand for, as well as how you speak from a brand voice uh, that generates significant uh, equity, if you will. So I think that the fact that you've got so many people talking about the evolution of this Just Do It campaign, they haven't really launched a campaign. I think it's going to be a pretty all encompassing. And again, I think long-term brand well, equity is what they're well, after with this campaign is, and the Just Do It tagline. Is this campaign more powerful by only hi highlighting Colin Kaepernick? Would it have been equally powerful if they highlighted a player who actually stood for the anthem and said something like, believe in something bigger than yourself? But it's, you know, and, and again, oh. I, I tend to think that it's become about the anthem. Um, but I think Colin's activism is well known within the people that understand around the world uh, that it was his right to protest. He chose to do it on a stage at, called the NFL uh, that, that's much bigger than life sometimes. But I, I don't think long term, again, it's going to really hurt his overall positioning um, as it relates to being a young 
very powerful civil rights activist who stood for something he believed in, and he's continuing to support that cause.